In this video, we're going over how to mirror your Samsung Galaxy A10e screen to your TV. Hey guys, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on new phones launching and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Also, if you like to win cool tech stuff, make sure you follow us on Instagram at HDTechVideos. Let's go ahead and jump right in and show you how to mirror this screen wirelessly to your TV. Now, a couple of things you're going to need to know. So, first, before we start, this phone uh, is not MHL compatible, which means that you cannot plug a cable directly into the bottom of the phone right here and run it to a TV. Really, only the more expensive phones will allow you to do that. So the, the two methods we're going to show you today are um, going to be doing it wirelessly using either a Chromecast or a Roku. So uh, there are three requirements in order for you to make this work on your end. So the first thing is you will need an HD TV that has an HDMI input. That's the first thing. The second thing is you will need home Wi-Fi to do this. It does have to go over a Wi-Fi network and it really doesn't work too well over a mobile hotspot, just FYI. The third thing is you will need either a Chromecast or a Roku. So in the video, I'm gonna show you how to mirror your screen to both those devices. And we're gonna do two things. I'm gonna show you how to mirror the entire screen so that anything you do on your screen is gonna show up on the TV. And the other method, I'm gonna show you how to just mirror a video to the TV. So if you have Netflix or Hulu or YouTube on your phone and you just wanna play that video on the TV, I'm gonna show you how to just mirror that to the TV and you can continue to use your phone to do other things. Let's go ahead and jump in and show you exactly how it's done. Now, um, you will need to uh, get your TV ready um, to receive uh, the screen being mirrored. So you're gonna go ahead and grab your remote. This is a Samsung remote here. Um, most remotes are gonna have either a source button or an input button. And what you're gonna do is basically hit that button and switch your TV to the input that your Chromecast or Roku is plugged into. Um, so you should see something like this on the screen if you have a Chromecast. It usually will just kind of show wallpapers and show the time. And Roku has a very similar wallpaper that it shows. So you just need to switch your TV to whatever input you have your device plugged into so that you're ready to see your, your screen mirrored. Once you've done that, the next step is to swipe down from the top of the screen, pull down again, and tap on Smart View. And Smart View will show you any and all devices that you would be able to mirror your screen to. So um, we have two devices. I actually have a Chromecast connected and I have a Roku connected. So we're gonna send it to Office TV, which is our uh, Chromecast. And you should see uh, just that quick, it is right on the TV and you have an option here it basically says you can change the aspect ratio to fill the whole screen on the connected device, but it may cause some apps to restart. So um, I'm not gonna change the aspect ratio because um, when you're on the home screen, this is how it's gonna look. However, when you go into a video app or games and you rotate your screen in the landscape position, it will automatically rotate on the TV as well. So I don't normally make that adjustment, but you feel free to test it out. And if you like it, how it works for you, then go ahead and do it. So in this setting, I can basically just have my screen sent right to the TV and whatever I do is gonna show up. Uh, I can, let's see. I have uh, Asphalt Nitro on this phone, for example. So I can actually play this game and I can have it mirrored right to the TV the whole time. Now, it's not always gonna be uh, super fast, um, but either way, you will be able to play it um, on your TV and others will be able to watch it while you're playing. So, I'm not gonna go that deep into the game. Obviously, I haven't opened this uh, app before, so um, it's asking me a million questions. But basically you guys can see it as I'm making selections, it all shows up right on the TV. And that's basically what this section is good for. I'm gonna go back home 
Now, if I were to go to YouTube, same thing. I can go and find a YouTube video and I can play that uh, video on the TV as well. So I'm just gonna go to YouTube really quickly here. And just find one of my videos. By the way, subscribe to our new site, Tech Made Easy. We've got some great videos on there, including how to use split screen on the A10e. So uh, in the description, you can do that. So let's say I want to play this video right here. Really easy. I just hit play. And all I have to do is just rotate the screen in the landscape position, and it will play the video right to the TV. Now, so this works. But um, to me, this is not really the most efficient way to use this feature because guess what? Like while this is playing, I can't use the phone um, because it's mirroring exactly what's on my screen. So while this setting is good when you're playing a game and you want people to see it while you're playing, it's not the best option when you just want to mirror a video. So I'm going to show you a different way to do this where you can only mirror the video and not everything else on your screen. So we can tap on this little smart view icon here and I can just hit disconnect and it will stop mirroring to the TV. You'll see the TV has been restored back to its normal setting here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and rotate the phone back, close out this video. So the other way to do this is simply going to be going to the video first. So I'm gonna go back to YouTube and let's say, hey, I want to mirror this video to the TV, but just the video. I don't want my whole screen on the TV. So all you'd have to do, go to your upper right corner, click on this little icon. It's called the cast icon. And by tapping on that, you can select here, which I can select either my Chromecast or my Roku. Whatever device you select, you can tap it. And it's now gonna play just that video on the TV and nothing else. You know what, I selected the wrong device, so no wonder it's not playing. So let's go ahead and disconnect. You can simply just hit clear, or you can tap on the cast icon again and hit stop casting and then it will disconnect it. So I'm gonna tap the video again, this time select the right input, so hit the cast button and go to Office TV. And now you'll see it switches over to YouTube and the video is gonna start playing on the TV. And then while that video plays, I can, I can still control the volume from here, which is cool. But then I can let that video continue to play and I can go home, I can start going through my phone, I can do other things, I can play a game if I want, I can do something totally different while that video is playing. And this is, this is why I prefer this method when it comes to mirroring your screen. Again, unless I have like pictures on my phone or I have a video on my phone that I want everyone in the room to see, um, I don't wanna use that first option where I'm mirroring the whole screen. I normally will just use this option where I'm just mirroring uh, the video, the video is casting right to the TV and I can still use the phone to do other things. When you're done and you want to control that video, pause it or stop it, you just swipe down, pull down again on the... Now my uh, cast has been disconnected and we're just back to the phone like normal. So uh, guys, this has been our quick video on how to mirror your screen to the TV wirelessly using either a Chromecast or a Roku. I will leave links in the description in case you guys want to pick up a Chromecast or a Roku. Um, again, just as an FYI, I, I often do these videos and I always see comments that say, we want to see how to connect the phone to the TV without Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, again, this phone um, does not support MHL, which means that you can't just plug a connector to the bottom uh, port and plug it to the TV. Uh, only the higher end Samsungs tend to support that feature. So this is really um, one of the only ways to mirror your screen to the TV. So um, definitely might be worth the investment to get Wi-Fi at home and HDTV if you really want to play things from your phone to your TV. 
Do me a favor, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if the video was helpful for you and any feedback or tips or anything you learned, I'd love to hear it in the comment section down below. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.